the last same day to the village Natazama siku ile watu wawili ufoni wao walikuwa wakienda kijiji kimoja. Called Emmaus. Jina lake Emmaus. Which was from Jerusalem about three score fathoms. Ilichukua mbali na Yerusalemu kama mwendo wa masaa mawili. And talked together all these things which had happened. Nao walikuwa wakizungumza wao kwa wao habari za mambo hayo. And it came to pass while they communed together reasoned uh, Jesus uh, and reason Jesus himself drew near and went with them. Ikawa katika kuzungumza na kuulizana kuulizana kwa Yesu mwenyewe alikaribia anaona na. Then their eyes were holden that they should not know him. Macho yao yakafungwa wasimtambue. And they and he said unto them what manner of communication are these that we have one with another as we walk and are said. And one of them whose name was Cleopas answered and said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem and, and has not known the things which are come to pass uh, there in these days? Wakasimama wamekuja misu zao, akadipo nya wao, jinalaki kiyopa, kamambia kie, wewe peke yako, umgeni katika usalemu, hata ujuhu ya juhi, ya liutukia humo siku hizi. And he said unto them, what things? Aka wawuliza, mambo gani? And he said, and they said, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people. Wakamambia, mambo ya Yesu wa Nazareti, aliyekuwa mtu na bii, mwenye uwezo katika kutenda na kulena mbele za mungu na watu wote. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. Tena jinsi wakuu wa mabuhani na wakuba wetu wa ilimutia katika hukumi ya kufa, wakamsubishi. We trusted that if he had been he which should have redeemed Israel, and beside all this, today is the third day, since these things were done. Na asi tulikuwa tukitumaini ya kuwa ye ni atakai wakongoa Israel. Yes. Na hindi ya kaya yote, leo ni siku ya tatu tangu tulipo, ya lipo teneka mambo haya. Yes, as the women also for our company made us astonished, which were only at the sepulchre. Tena wanawaki kaza wakaza wakwiki, walifushtusha, walikuwenda kakulini, asugui na mapema, wasiwole mbiliwa. When they found not his body, they can say that they also had seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive. Wakaja, wakasema ya kwamba, wamitukewa na malaika waliosema, waliosema, kwamba yuhai. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it, and even so, as the women had said, but he they saw not. Na wengine walikuwa kwa mwenye nasi, walikuenda kakulini wakaona bibyo hiliyo, kama wale wanawaki walikuwezema, ila yeye na wako mwana. Then he said unto them, all fools, and so hard to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Aka wabia, eni wakumbahu, wenye yeo mizito, ya kwamili yote ya yosema manabini. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? Je, haikumbasa Christo kupata na tesoana na pigia katika ukufu wake? And beginning from Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in the scriptures the things concerning himself. Aka anza kutoka Musa na manabi wote, aka waeleza katika mani koyote mambo ya liu musu ye mwenyewe. And they drew nigh at the village with that they went, and he made as though he would go further. Wakakaribia kia kijiji walichukua kienda, nae alipanya kana kwamba, anataa kuindirea mbele. And they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is to what evening, and the day is first end, and they went into time with him. Wakamusharushi wakisema, kapa mwja nasi kwa kuwa, umebuchwa na mchana unakuisha haka ingia ndani haka kaa kwa wa. It came to pass as he said at meet with them he took bread and blessed it and break it and gave to them. Ikawa alipokuwa na ikitinao shakulani alitua mkata haka ubariki haka umega haka waka. They say one to another did not our heart bear within us while it says and when their eyes were opened they knew him and he vanished out of their sight. Yaka fumbuliwa machu yao, waka mtambua, kisha katoika mbile yao. 
And they say one to another, did not our hearts bear within us while he spake, talked with us, and by the way, and while he opened unto us the scriptures. Let us bow our heads. Father, we thank you for the word. Bless now we believe it is your scripture. Anoint these lips of men. Hide me in the shadow of the cross. And make me just be a trumpet for the word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Amen. I would like to speak on going beyond the Imam's heartbeat. Going beyond the Imam's heartbreak. Many times when we pray, we say, Father, bless us today at the end of the service. May we be like those that were going to the mouth. Now you will come and be a who said it is not our hearts again with him. So today I'm saying we want to go beyond that. Just saying our hearts bent within us. We want to go beyond Praise God. Now, uh, my favorite subject is the subject of the seals. Uh, because I believe the ministry of Brother Branham was the ministry of the mysteries. Maybe let me lay down those things first. So that uh, no, we are all given differently. When I, uh, before I, I, I started pastoring, I was a very evangelical. Uh, so, just trying to see what is sort of made by ministry. And I started asking God, what is it, what is my portion? So that I don't do things that I'm not called for. And the Lord revealed something to me. That my portion is to help. For the bride to see who she is. To understand who they are. Then the rapture will go. And uh, you know, some are called like Peter to say strengthen the brethren. So all the time they come, they strengthen the brethren. And I've realized many times if, if you try to do something that God has not called you for, you have trouble. But if you are in what God has called you, you find comfort. So, so if you are an evangelist, even if you take the subject called love, you just find yourself blasting. And you end up saying, You people do not hear love. Because the gift takes the delivery. Yeah, you right. no, brother Abraham says, This alone, the mysteries of God, sees a is the ministry of the seventh angel. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. This alone, yeah. the mysteries of God, yeah. is the ministry of the seventh angel. Yeah. In other words, yeah. what Brother Branham was saying, yeah. 
anasema ni brand is to reveal the mysteries of God kila alichotumiwa alichotumwa afanye ni brand ni kufunua siri za Mungu and when the brand says the brand says there were years of preparation kulikuwa na miaka ya maandalizi from 47 to 62 kutoka um, uh, 47 mpaka 62 he says in those years i was doing the evangelical work anasema miaka hiyo nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya uinjilisti he was doing an evangelistic work alikuwa nafanya kazi ya uinjilisti and he says i was using an evangelistic gift anasema nilikuwa natumia karama ya kiinjilisti and he says the evangelistic gift is the gift of discernment anasema na karama ya kiinjilisti ni karama ya upambano So discernment is not a prophetic gift. Kwa hiyo upambanuzi wa siri za mioyo sio karama ya kinabii. According to Brother Branham. Kulingana na ndugu Branham. Discernment is an evangelistic gift. Upambanuzi ni karama ya kiinjilisti. To draw the people in. Kuwavuta watu waingie ndani. Because discernment is under the second pool. Kwa sababu upambanuzi huko chini ya mvuto wa pili. And then he says but now. Lakini anasema lakini sasa. I must get into my message Inabidi sasa niwaingize kwenye ujumbe wangu. What he has sent me for. Kila alichonituma kwa ajili yake. I told you I'm already feeling at home. Sasa nafikiri tayari mnajisikia nyumbani. So if you are not feeling at home, welcome. Kama hujisikii nyumbani, karibu nyumbani sasa. So he says, kwa hiyo anasema, I am getting into my message. Mimi nataka niwaingize kwenye ujumbe wangu. Now the, his message is the prophetic message. Ujumbe wake ni ujumbe wa kinabii. Now he says the word of God. Sasa anasema neno la Mungu comes to a prophet. Linamjia nabii. He says a prophet is not just a, a fort teller and a tell uh, the one that tells forth. Nabii sio mtu tu anayetabiri ajayo na kuzungumza labda yaliyopita. He says is the one who is a revealer of the word. Anasema nabii ni mfunuzi wa neno. He says and that revelation of the word. Na anasema na huo ufunuo wa neno it makes him a seer. Unamfanya yeye awe muonaji. And he says the seventh angel na anasema yule malaika wa saba will be a seer prophet. Atakuwa ni nabii muonaji. And the ministry of this messenger na huduma ya huyo mjumbe will be the mysteries of God itakuwa ni kuhusu siri za Mungu Amen Amen In the book of uh, the Laodicean church katika kitabu cha nyakati saba za kanisa Brother Branham says wakati wa Laodiki anasema the messenger of Malachi 4 yule mjumbe wa Malaki 4 and Revelation 10 na ufunuo 10 was sent to do two things alitumwa afanye mambo mawili one according to malachi 4 la kwanza kulingana na malachi 4 turn the heart of the children ni kugeuza mioyo ya watoto back to the pentecostal fathers iwaelekee baba zao wa kipentecoste that's number one hiyo namba moja and then he says two namba mbili reveal the mystery of the seven thunders kufunua siri ya zile ngurumo saba which are the revelations contained in the seven seals ambazo ni mafunuo yaliyoko ndani ya ile miuri saba are you seeing that napata hilo and then he says and it is by these divinely revealed mystery kisha anasema na ni mafunuo hayo hayo yaliyofunuliwa kiungu That the heart of the children ndio atakayogeuza mioyo ya watoto shall be turned back to the fathers. Iwarudie baba zao. Full stop. Nukta. And then he says exactly so. Na anasema hakika kabisa. And then he puts another full stop. Na anaongeza nukta nyingine. Watch this. Nini hiyo? That the ministry ile huduma is to turn the hearts. Ni kugeuza mioyo. But number one and number two lakini namba moja na namba mbili is actually one thing ni kitu kimoja hasa ni kitu kimoja he says he is supposed to tend the hearts of the children anatakiwa atugeuze usisi watoto that's number one namba moja namba two namba mbili review the mystery of the seven thunders kufunua siri ya ngurumo saba and number two will be that the thing that will make number one possible na, namba mbili ndio itakayofanikisha namba moja iwezekane So if brother Branham, Branham does not come and reveal the mysteries haji tu kufunua siri there is no turning of the hearts bila kugeuza mioyo are you hearing me amen so you cannot have the revival of the fathers kwa hiyo uwezi kuwa na uamsho wa baba zetu without the revelation of the seals bila ufunuo wa mihuri that is the danger in the message 
Iyo, that is that's the danger in the message. Hiyo ndio hatari kwenye ujumbe. We are having people. Tunajaribu kuwafanya watu. They are claiming to have a revival. Tuna watu wanadai kuwa na uamsho. Outside of the opening of the word. Nje ya kufunuliwa kwa neno. Any revival outside of the opening of the word. Uamsho wote nje ya kufunuliwa kwa neno. Is not the bride's revival. Sio uamsho wa bibi harusi. Can you say amen? Brother Branham says. Branham the bride has not had a revival yet. Bibi harusi hajawa na uamsho bado. And he says the bride's revival. Na anasema uamsho wa bibi harusi will be a word revival. Utakuwa ni uamsho wa neno. Do you love the word? Napenda neno. That's where our revival comes. Ndio uamsho wetu huo. So the revival is not coming from South Africa. Many times I've seen people they get the wrong notion. We are going to call the brothers from this other city. Tutaita ndugu kutoka mji fulani so that they bring the revival. Ili watuletee uamsho hapa. Hapana hapana. There's no brother who can bring a revival. Hakuna ndugu anaweza kuleta uamsho. Uamsho is in the spoken word. Huko ndani ya neno lilo nenwa. Say amen somebody. Sema amina mtu sana. Hallelujah. Amen. No brother. Hakuna ndugu. No apostle. Hakuna mtume. No bishop. Hakuna askofu. No church. Hakuna kanisa. Can bring a revival. Ninaweza kuleta uamsho. The revival. Uamsho is in the word. Huko kwenye neno. The revival. Uamsho is in the spoken word. Huko kwenye neno lilo nenwa. Can you receive that? Naweza kupokea hilo? Can you receive that? Naweza kupokea hilo. How is your reception? Unapokeaje? Of the word. Unalipokeaje neno? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Now this is the first day of the week. Sasa yeye ndio siku ya kwanza ya Juma, which is the eighth day. Ambayo ni siku ya nane. And this is the third day na siku ya tatu of the resurrection of Christ. Ya kufuka kwa Kristo. So the eighth day <laughs> siku ya nane is the third day. Ndio siku ya tatu. The Bible is interesting. Biblia ni ajabu sana. 1 plus 1 in mathematics moja yulisha moja kwenye sabu is equal to 2. Unapata 2. But 1 plus 1 in the Bible lakini moja yulisha moja kwenye Biblia is equal to 1. Unapata 1. The Bible says and these two na Biblia nasema shall na, be one. Na wawili hao watakuwa mmoja. 1 plus 1 is 1. Moja jumisha moja ni moja. In the Bible. Kwenye Biblia. The eighth day is the third day. Siku ya nane ni siku ya tatu. So the Bible says. Kwa Biblia nasema now Jesus had, had, had died. Sasa Yesu alikuwa amekufa. Jesus the man. Yesu mwanadamu mwanadamu mtu. Now, now I want you to understand this. Nataka muelewe hili sasa. The greatest revelation ufunuo ulio mkuu kuliko wote that ushers you into all other revelations. Ambao unakuingiza kwenye mafunuo mengine is the revelation of the Godhead. Ni ufunuo wa wa uungu wa Yesu. That's why brother Branham when he, before he preaches the church ages he preaches the message the revelation of Jesus Christ. The Godhead. Ule uungu. Now sasa Jesus Yesu is the one who died. Ndiye aliyekufa. God did not die. Mungu hakufa. God does not die. Mungu hawezi kufa. Okay. Sasa. All right. Vema. All right. Let me let me let me let me stay there a little bit. Ngoja nikae hapo kwanza kidogo. So, kwa hiyo God created a body. Mungu aliumba mwili. And this body was called Jesus. Na mwili huu ukaitwa Yesu. And from the age of 0 Na kutoka kwenye umri wa mwaka 0 to 12 years we had nothing about it. Mpaka miaka 12 hatukusikia chochote. And then at the age of 12 na kwenye umri wa miaka 12 he goes to the temple. Akaenda hekaloni kule. He is the perfect creation of God. Yeye ndio kiumbe kikamilifu cha Mungu. But he was staying with his mother and his father. Lakini alikuwa anakaa na mama yake na baba yake. The brother brother Branham says the boy was not God. 
He says the boy was not God. But God, the fullness of God dwelt in him. When the fullness of time came. So, from, from 12 years, for 18 years we had nothing about him. Until he was 30. And when he was 30, he then went to be baptized. And when he went to be baptized, there was a prophet in the water by the name of John the Baptist. John the Baptist did not know who he was. But he had heard a vision that the one that you will see the dove coming upon, the, the Holy Spirit in the form of the dove, he will be the Messiah. He didn't know the Messiah was going to be his cousin. And as, as Jesus is coming in the water, the Holy Ghost comes to fulfill Malachi chapter 3. Kutimiza malaki tatu. Which says, and suddenly shall the Lord na, ambayo nasema kwamba, na gafla buwana, enter into his temple. Atalijia hekalu lake. The, the temple was not a building in Jerusalem. The temple was the body that was created by God. And the scripture says, and the fullness of the Godhead dwelt in him bodily. And Brother Branham says he was a hundred percent man and a hundred percent God. Hundred percent men and hundred percent God. And then he then had to go on the cross to die. But before he went to the cross, he went to Gethsemane. And when he went to Gethsemane, Brother Branham says he died more a death. In Gethsemane, in Gethsemane he died more a death. More than the death on the cross. Because in Gethsemane is when the fullness of the Godhead was separated to the men. And then God, that's why when the soldiers came they could bind him because he was no longer the fullness of God. They bound the creation, the perfect creation. The lamp of sacrifice. And they took him to the cross. And when he was on the cross to confirm what I am saying, he said, my father, my father. I say, my baba yangu, baba. Why have you forsaken me? Bona umeniacha. Where did you forsake him? Aliachwa wapi? In Gethsemane. Pale Gethsemane. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. If you understand that. Kama mnaelewa hilo. Then you understand everything. Basi mtaelewa kila kitu. All right. Vema. So, kwa hiyo, Jesus Yesu is the main part. Ni sehemu ile ya ya Lakini Kristo is the eternal part. Ni kile kitu cha milele sasa. Jesus had a beginning. Yesu alikuwa na mwanzo. He had a date of birth. Alikuwa na kuzaliwa. And he had a date of death. Alikuwa kuzaliwa na alikuwa na tarehe ya kufa. But Christ Lakini Kristo had no date of birth. Hakuwa na siku ya kuzaliwa. And no date of death. Wala siku ya kufa. Are you hearing that? Naelewa hiyo. Jesus was not there in the Old Testament. Yesu hakuwepo katika gano la kale. He was born in the New Testament. Alizaliwa kwenye gano jipya. But Christ Lakini Kristo was there in the Old Testament. Alikuwepo kwenye gano la kale. And is there in the New Testament. Na yuko kwenye gano jipya. Bible says, and Moses, when he became of age, 
He chose to suffer the afflictions with the children of God. To suffer the reproach for Christ. Instead of being called the prince of Egypt. Christ was there. That's why when Christ was in Jesus and the Pharisees were talking to him and they were having a conversation and they said, are you older than our father Abraham? And he said, before Abraham was I am but they didn't know Christ. They knew Jesus. And they said, but you are not yet 50, you are not even 50 years old. He says, you are looking at the wrong picture. You are looking at the wrong picture. If you look at me, you think I'm young. Kama mtaniangalia mnafikii mimi ni kijana. Mimi sio kijana. Before there was a star. Kabla nyota haijakuwepo. Before there was a moon. Kabla hakujawa na mwezi. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. Before time began. Kabla wakati haujaanza. Many times I preach in places. Mara nyingi naubiri sehemu mbalimbali. How come a young man know so much? Watu wanasema huyu kijana anajuaje yeye? A young man can know so much. Hakuna namna kijana anaweza kujua yeye. I was there. Nilikuwepo kule. Before the devil was there. Kabla shetani hajakuwepo. Are you hearing me? You were there. Ninyi. You were there. Ulikuwepo. Hallelujah. Amen. Job. Ayubu. Get up your loins and answer me like a man. Where were you? Ulikuwa wapi? When the morning stars sang together. Wakati nyota za asubuhi zilipoimba pamoja. And the sons of God shouted for joy. Na watoto wa Mungu wakapiga kelele kwa shangwe. The oldest religion Dini ya kale kuliko zote is the shouting religion. Ni dini ya kupiga kelele. You and me wewe na mimi were there. Tulikuwa kule. Hallelujah. Amen. So we can also say pastor. Kwa hiyo na sisi pia mchungaji tunaweza kukasema before Abraham was. Kabla Abraham hajakuwepo. I am. Niko. Utukufu. Okay. Sawa. Now we can preach now. Sasa tunaweza kuendelea kuhubiri. Let's preach. Hebu singoja tuhubiri. So so Jesus was sealed. Kwa hiyo Yesu alitiwa muhuri. In the tomb. Kwenye kaburi lile. They they they, they put a, 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 the, the Bible says and they put a seal. Biblia inasema wakaweka jiwe on the tomb kwenye kaburi and that seal was a rock na muhuri huo ulikuwa ni mwamba a huge rock mwamba mkubwa kweli kweli to seal him inside ili kumtia muhuri kule ndani is that right amen and the one that was sealed na yule aliyetiwa muhuri is the one that broke the seal ni yule ambaye alivunja muhuri sasa that's the ndio huyo huyo mvunja muhuri that's the mystery of the seventh seal hiyo ndio siri ya muhuri wa saba the, the one that was sealed yule aliyetiwa muhuri the stone was not rolled from the outside yile, lile jiwe the stone, the stone was rolled from the inside <laughs> Jule, jiwe halikuwa limefungwa kwa nje ilikuwa imefungwa kwa ndani day. so the stone was rolled by the one that okay. was in the inside aliye viringisha jiwe alitokea ndani Mm. Brother Branham says Bindu Branham anasema he was those seals yeye alikuwa ndio mihuri hiyo Jesus Christ is those seals Yesu Kristo ndiye mihuri hiyo he says for the whole word of God anasema kwa neno lote la Mungu is Christ neno lote la Mungu ni Kristo The whole word of God is what? Neno lote la Mungu ni nini? What is the seals? Christ. Miuri ni nini? Christ. Who broke the seals? 
Nani alivunja miuri? Aliyekuwa amefungiwa ndani. Yeye ndiye aliyevunja mihuri. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. And the scripture says and Mary Magdalene. Na maandiko yanasema Maria Magdalena and Joanna na Joanna and Mary the mother of James. Na Maria mama yake ya Yakobo. It does not say Mary the mother of Jesus. I say me Maria mama yake Yesu. You see before that a couple of hapo you hear Mary the mother of Jesus. Utasikia Maria mama yake Yesu. But, but here it says Mary the mother of James. Lakini hapa inasema Maria mama yake Yakobo. Because the word had already corrected the error. Kwa sababu neno lilikuwa limeshasaisha makosa. When Mary came and say I and your father are looking for you. Maria alipokuja akasema kwamba eh mimi na baba yako tumekutafuta sana. And Jesus said woman Yesu akasema mwanamke I am about my father's business. Mimi niko kwenye shughuli ya baba yangu. In other words this man is not my father. Kwa maneno mengine huyo jamaa sio baba yangu. And you are not my mother. Na wewe sio mama yangu. Is that right? Yeye yeah, ni sawa. Yes sir. Asema And the Bible said and they 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 told Peter na Biblia inasema kwamba wakamwambia Petro. And they told John. Wakamwambia Yohana. That we went and the, 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 it was open. Kwamba tulienda na tukakuta kumefunguliwa. The, the, there is nobody there. Hakuna mtu ndani mle. And in the book of Luke it says na and they saw two men. Kitabu cha Luka inasema kwamba wakaona wanaume wawili. But in the book of St John, lakini kwenye kitabu cha Yohana Mtakatifu, it says and they saw angels. Inasema kwamba waliona malaika. Is that right? In, in chapter 20 of St John it says the first day of the week Mary Magdalene Kwenye uh, Yohana sura ya 20 inasema it, it doesn't talk about Ma- Mary the mother of James Inasema Maria Magdalena ilizungumzia habari za Maria mama yake Yakobo It doesn't talk also about Joanna Wala haimtaji hata Joanna Remember I said look is looking at it at a gentle perspective. Sasa nisema Luka anaangalia kwa jicho la kimataifa but la, John, la watu wa mataifa na Yohana is a type of the bride. Yohana ni mfano wa bibi harusi. And the book of John na kitabu cha Yohana represents the eagle anointing. Kinawakilisha upako wa tai. So John is also a type of a prophet. Kwa hiyo Yohana ni mfano wa nabii. So when he writes he writes it prophetically. Kwa hiyo anapoandika anaandika kinabii. So he excludes these other women. Kwa hiyo anaondoa wanawake wengine. And, and he only writes about Mary Magdalene. Na anaandika habari za Maria Magdalena peke yake. And Mary Magdalene na Maria Magdalena is the woman that Jesus cast out seven demons out of. Yule mwanamke ambaye Yesu alimtoa mapepo saba. Which is a type of a gentile church. Ambaye ni mfano wa kanisa la mataifa. Which Jesus has cast out. Ambao Yesu ametoa. Devils through the ma, seven churches. Na pepo kupitia nyakati saba za kanisa. But now on this day, lakini sasa siku ya leo, she no longer has demons. Mapepo hayo hana tena. Can you say amen? Unaweza kusema amina. She's no longer possessed. Hana hajapagawa. Why? Kwa nini? Because she's no longer in the church age. Kwa sababu yeye hayuko tena kwenye nyakati za kanisa. Ah! Do I have eagles? Eh leo nina tai kweli hapa. Do I have eagles? Yeye nina tai hapa. I said Mary Magdalene. Yeye nina tai hapa. Was no longer in the church age. Hakuwepo kwenye nyakati saba za kanisa. And here this afternoon. Na leo mchana wa leo. We are no longer in the church age. Hatuko kwenye nyakati za kanisa. The bride Bibi harusi is not in Laodicea. Hayuko Laodicea. The bride La Bibi harusi is in the bride age. Yuko kwenye wakati wa Bibi harusi. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. This is the eighth day. Hii ni siku ya nane. And the eighth day na, is the third day. Na siku ya nane ni siku ya tatu. This is the resurrection morning. Huu hii ni siku ya ufufuo. That's why the message had to change. Ndio maana ujumbe unabadilika from an evening time message kutoka ujumbe wa wakati wa jioni to a new day message kuingia kwenye usi, u, u, kwenye ujumbe wa siku mpya in the evening time wakati wa jioni god uses the pillar of fire mungu anatumia nguzo ya moto the bible says the pillar of fire by night nguzo ya moto usiku 
but the cloud by day lakini wingu mchana so there was a change of day kwa hiyo kulikuwa na badiliko la siku in the time of brother branham wakati wa ndugu branham and brother branham says na ndugu branham anasema i am going to preach the first seal nitahubiri muhuri wa kwanza and i'm going to call you bride na nitawaiteni bibi harusi so that you can understand ili muweze kuelewa Hallelujah. Amen. We are no longer just a church. Ha, tuko we are no longer just believers. Sisi si we are the bride of Jesus. Sisi ni bibi harusi wa Yesu. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Are you hearing me? Mnanisikia? You are a special someone. Wewe ni mtu maalum. Bride. Maalum. Ni bibi harusi. With change of name. Kwa kubadilika kwa majina. Comes change of responsibility eh, badiliko la jina linaleta badiliko la wajibu if you are in courtship wewe kama unaitwa there are certain things you can't really confide ah, kama mko kwenye uchumba kuna mambo amwezi kuzungumza but when, 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 when she is engaged lakini sasa mnapofungana when she becomes bride now sasa anapokuwa bibi harusi now, now there are certain things you can confide sasa kuna mambo mnaweza kuzungumza na kufanya there are certain responsibilities kuna wajibu sasa unaitia there are certain things you can whisper now kuna bitu unaweza kunongonezana so, so he changes our position sasa anapotubadilisha nafasi yetu so that he can give us a better position Kusudi atupe atupe urithi ulio sahihi. Hallelujah. Au miliki sahihi. So Mary Magdalene. Kwa Maria Magdalena. Comes to the sepulchre. Anakuja kwenye makaburi. And then she sees two men. Anaona watu wawili pale. In, in 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 white linen. Wamevaa nguo nyeupe. These men in white linen. Hao watu walio kwenye nguo nyeupe. Angels of God. Walikuwa malaika wa Bwana. They are the ones that tell ye ni wale ambao walimwambia why seek ye the living among the dead kwa nini mnamtafuta mna aliye hai katika walio kufa the greatest mystery of the first coming of christ siri kubwa sana ya kuja kwa ku, kwanza kwa kristo was in the redemption of the cross ilikuwa katika ukombozi wa msalaba yes now sasa that, that, that's very key what i've just said hiyo ni muhimu sana la muhimu sana leo many times we trivialize that wakati mwingine sana wakati mwingine atulitambui we make it very small tunalifanya inakuwa jepesi dogo but sana. you see many things had been written plainly lakini me, mambo mengi ambayo yameandikwa wazi wazi behold a virgin shall conceive e, tazama bikira atachukua mimba it's written plainly imeandikwa kirahisi hivyo wazi wazi a son is born mtoto atazaliwa and to us a son is given e, kwetu mtoto atatumepewa mtoto mwanaume government shall be upon his shoulder ah, nguvu zote zitakuwa juu ya mabega yake he shall be called prince of priests ataitwa mfalme wa amani wonderful counselor atakuwa mshauri wa ajabu so he is coming kwa hiyo anapokuja sasa through the virgin birth kupitia uzao wa bikira if somebody could explain it easily kama mtu angelifafanua kiraisi raisi they were supposed to catch it wangeweza kulikamata because it was written plainly kwa sababu ilikuwa wazi wazi what was not written plainly kilichokuwa kijaandikwa wazi wazi is how this messiah this savior ni namna gani huyo masihi was going to come and die angekuja akafa that's the part that was difficult hicho ndicho ilikuwa sehemu ngumu when even the disciples themselves hata mitume wenyewe they didn't know wanafunzi hawakujua That's why when he started saying the scripture says Matthew 16 ndio maana maandiko anasema Mathayo 16 after Peter caught the revelation of who Christ was baada ya Petro kukamata ufunuo wa Yesu Kristo alichokuwa the bible says he began to teach the things Abine, concerning himself bibia anasema kwamba alianza kunena kufundisha mambo yanayomhusu mwenyewe of how the son of man was supposed to suffer and die ya namna gani mwana wa Adamu alimpaswa ateseke na afe But right until the last day lakini hadi kufika siku ile ya mwisho that part they could not accept it hicho kitu wasinge kikubali peter was even saying you cannot die while i'm here petro mwenyewe alisema wewe huwezi kufa niko hapa i will not allow it mimi siwezi kukubaliana na jambo hilo that part is the the, the seal hicho kitu hiyo sehemu hiyo ni ya siri yani muhuri the greatest mystery in the first coming siri kubwa sana katika kuja kwa kwanza is the death on the cross ilikuwa ni kifo cha msalabani and even after he died and resurrected kwa sababu hata baada ya kufa na kufufuka it remained a mystery bado ilibaki siri 
This is the thing they wanted to kill Paul. To say this man preaches the resurrection of the dead. Even when you hear about the, the Ethiopian eunuch. He, he, he reads Isaiah 53. He was taken to the slaughter like a sheep. And then he says, who is this man talking about? Does he know himself? Or this, is, this is after the death on the cross. I want you to see the gravity of the matter. Amen. Amen. So now, sasa, sasa. Mary Magdalene goes to tell the disciples. Maria Magdalene and Peter went to the other disciple. Na Petro na yenda kwa wanafunzi wengine kule. Whom Jesus loved. Ambao Yesu alimpenda. This, alimpenda. Uh, this other disciple whom Jesus loved. Yule mwanafunzi mwingine ambaye Yesu alimpenda. Is the same disciple who's writing this. Ni mwanafunzi huyo huyo anayeandika habari hizi. You see the language of the Bible. Unaona lugha ya Biblia. He does not say Peter came to me. Hasemi Peter Petro akanijia. He says Peter went to the other disciple. Anasema Petro akamwendea yule mwanafunzi mwingine. If you are a denomination you start looking where is the other one? Sasa kama ingekuwa ni madhehebu unaanza kutafuta huyu mwanafunzi mwingine yuko hapa. Is the one. Huyu anayeongea ndio huyo huyo. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Napata anachosema. So they reign both together. Kwa hiyo wakakimbia wote pamoja. And the other disciple did outrun Peter and came in and stooping down Aka, looking in he saw linen clothes lying and cometh Simon Peter following him and went into the sepulchre and see the linen clothes lie why, why is the Bible talking about this? It's clothes. There's something about that linen. Says, and the napkin was about his head. Is that right? Amen. Not lying with the linen clothes. Kile kiremba kilikuwa akijaka na zile nguo. But wrapped together in a place by itself. Lakini ilikuwa imefungwa pamoja zimefungwa pamoja mahali fulani peke yake. So you seeing that? Naona hiyo. So we have we have we have we have got the napkin. Sasa tuna kiremba hapa. Which they used to wrap the head of Christ. Ambacho walifungia kichwa cha Yesu. And we've got we've got the linen which, which he was wearing. So, so he gets in there and then he realizes the napkin was wrapped together. It was folded nicely. So it was, it was lying on the head. But the, the linen clothes they were not wrapped together. He just took them out and then he put them haphazardly. So this is what we are having in the tomb. And the Bible says and then went in also the other disciple which came first to the sepulchre. Eh, which verse is it? Verse 8. I want to read it straight up. Basi ndipo alipoingia na yule mwanafunzi mwingine aliyekuwa wa kwanza and believed. Wakufika kaburini akaona na kuamini. For as they knew for they, for yet they knew not the scripture. Kwa maana hawajalifahamu bado andiko that he must rise again from that ya kwamba imempasa kufufuka. Okay. They didn't know the scripture about the rising of Christ. So they knew he was dead. So something is there in the sepulchre that is making them now to believe that indeed is resurrected. So, in the Jewish culture, if we have food, if we are eating, Kama mna chakula, mna kula pamoja. Now if I, 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 I eat my food Mimi kama chakula, chakula changu, and I 
I leave my, 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 you know, that serviette, that napkin. I just leave it like this. If the weight runs come, they just come and take my plate and uh, go. They know I am finished. But if they, if they find the napkin, I folded it nicely. I, I, I leave it next. If they come, even if I'm not there, they will not, be, they will not take my plate. They will know that he's not done yet. So that's the mystery of the napkin. And the linen cloth. So, so the part of the body. He leaves it haphazardly. Because what he had come for was the redemption of the body. So, so, so he leaves the napkin, the, 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 the linen, he leaves the linen haphazardly. Because as far as the body work is concerned, he was done. But the head, the head is Christ. The head is Christ himself. He leaves it folded nicely. On the ministry of the head. I am not done yet. That's why when Christ comes again, he comes as a prophet. Luke 17.30 Luke But in the days when the son of man shall be revealed it shall be like the day of Noah it shall be like the day of Lot it is the ministry of the headship that's why in this day when he came again he did not come as a full body in 1963 they took a picture and it was kept for certain days. Where is it? They took a picture and it was kept for certain days. And then it was brought to Brother Branham. A cloud, a ring of mystery. A cloud in the skies. And Brother Branham says, That's my Lord up there. Don't you see his eyes? Can't you see his nose? Can't you see his mouth? What was the picture of? Of the head. Because the head is the identity. If you go to the ID office, I don't know what you call it here. Home office. Home affairs. Ukienda kwenye kwenye for your ID. Mambo ya ndani au office ya nida. If you go there and stand, you pose like this. Ukienda kwa kupiga picha. They are not going to take a picture of your body. Wakienda kupiga picha ya passport ya lafu kukaweka pose na mnai. Even with nice shoes. They will not take your body. All they need to do is to take your face. If they have your face, they have your whole body. Can you say amen? Can you say amen? 1963. He came down. Can you see his face? Can you see his eyes? Macho yake. Yes. Ndiyo. That ushered in the second coming. Hiyo ilikaribisha ujio wa pili. That began the second coming. Hiyo ilianzisha ujio wa pili. The second coming is not an event. Kuja kwa pili siyo tukio. It's a process. Ni mchakato. 
Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? Many people say we are waiting for the second coming. I've got news for you. That second coming has already begun. Okay, let me show you. As it was in his first coming. So it is in his second coming. At what stage of the life of Jesus do you say this was the first coming? Do you say this was the first coming? When the virgin conceived the first coming had begun. Okay, that's too late. When the stars appeared in the air, the first coming had begun. When the Magi started walking, the first coming had begun. When the virgin conceived, it was the first coming. When the boy was born, it was the first coming. When he was baptized in Jordan, it was the first coming. When he went up the cross, it was the first coming. When he died and resurrected, it was no longer the first coming. The second coming was now starting. Okay. He says the second coming He comes like a thief on the cross How does the thief come? Let's say there's a thief that wants to come here And we have a gate there When the thief is in that passage there The thief has already come Penya kwenye geti tu, he, tayari muizi kaingia. He, he jumps the fence. Akiruka fence. The thief has come. Muizi kaja. He breaks the door. Anavunja mlango. The thief has come. Muizi kaja. He takes, he takes the sofas and the fridge. Anabeba masofa, mafrigi. And your phones and your, and your laptops. Na simu zako na laptop. The thief has come. Muizi kaja. When you wake up in the morning. Unapamka subuhi. You will find the fridge is not there. Unakuta fridge haipo. The watch is not there. Saa haipo. The thief is not come anymore. He's gone. Muizi hapo haji tena kaondo. That is the second coming. When he comes the second coming He comes like a thief in the night That's why brother Branham says We are not waiting for the rapture No we are in the process of the rapture hey, 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 hey. Listen 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 Brother Branham says, manasema, I am waiting for the rapture to go. He says, I am waiting for the rapture to go. In other words, the rapture has already come. Yake, upo. That's why he said, rapturing faith is in the tapes and the books. I don't know what you are waiting for. I don't know what you are waiting for. But some of us, we are being raptured. We are being raptured. Are you hearing me? What I am just waiting for is the change of the body. Every day it's a rapture. Kila siku ni Every service is a rapture. Kila siku ni Every service is a rapture. Kila s- ibada ni one kunyakuliwa. day is one day. What? One day is one day. Siku moja ni siku moja. This body will not be able huu to contain it anymore. Tena. Can you say amen? Can you say amen? Can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So these two men are talking. They, they, they are talking about Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth. Not Christ. They knew Jesus of Nazareth. I want you to watch that. He says, he says, and they spoke about Jesus. They are telling this stranger that comes and joins them. And this stranger sounds very rude. Na huyu mgeni anaonekana ni katiri kweli. Because he doesn't know these two people. Kwa sababu hao wawili, watu wawili hawajui. And he says what manner of conversation are you having with another? Sema ni aina gani ya mazungumzo haya mnazungumzia? And you people are said. Na ninyi mko mmezunguzunika uzunika. Wakamgeukia. Are you a stranger? 
In Jerusalem, hapa Jerusalem. Haven't you heard? Haujasikia. What has happened in our church? Yaliyo tupata kanisani wewe. It sounds like after 1965. Inaonekana kama baada ya mwaka 65. The prophet is gone. Nabii ameondoka. People are discouraged. Watu wamekata tamaa. I wish brother Branham was here. Sima, ah, na light ndugu Branham angekuwa hapo. To tell us about marriage and divorce. Kutuambia kuhusu ndoa na talaka. I wish brother Branham was here. Na waza ndugu Branham angekuwa hapo. To really solve our problems. Kututatulia matatizo yetu. Discouraged. Wako wamehuzunika. And there appears a stranger. Akatokea mgeni. And says, what are you talking about? And they say, are you not a brother? Which church do you go to? Haven't you heard the things concerning Jesus of Nazareth? How they killed him. How they were beating him. We, we thought he would be the one that would deliver us. And, and we were even shocked some sisters came today and said that, 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 that the tomb was empty. And they said they saw a vision some angels told us. These sisters never said they saw the, a vision. These brothers, ndugu, they were adding sugar. Walikuwa naongeza chumvi. I'm glad this message was recorded. Nashukuru kwamba ujumbe huu umerekodiwa. If the message was not recorded, kama ujumbe usingekuwa umerekodiwa, we were going to hear sugar sermon. Tungekuwa na chumvi nyingi meongeza mle adding a little sukari. something e, sukari, yani to make us strong. Za, za Are you hearing what I'm saying? And Jesus said, Na yesu, Oh fools! Sema, inyi wapumbavu. Slow of heart. Nini wagumu wa mioyo. To Yoyo believe mziki. all the things Kwa mini mambo yote. that the prophets have spoken. Ambayo manabi wa mesema. Eh? Hmm. Ought not Christ. Ye, haikumpasa Kristo. They spoke about Jesus of Nazareth. Wao walikuwa wanazungumza habari za Yesu Nazareth. He said Christ. Ye, anasema Kristo. Ought not Christ. Ye, haikumpasa Kristo. To have suffered these things. Kuteseka kwa ajili ya mambo. And enter into his glory. Na kuingia katika utukufu wake. And he expounded ndipo akawafafanulia zaidi. Unto them in all the scriptures kakafafunulia wote katika maandiko yote things concerning himself mambo yanayomhusu yeye mwenyewe beginning from moses kuanzia msa and all the prophets na manabii wote and their faces was withholden na macho yao sura zao zilikuwa they were withholden e, that they may not know him e, sura zao zilikuwa zime kama zimefungwa wasimtambue you were with him three days ago walikuwa naye siku tatu zilizopita now you, you don't know him. Sasa hamjui leo. So he starts talking to them. Kwaanza kuongea nao. Starting with Moses. Akianza na Musa. But he's not talking about Moses. Lakini azungumzia habari za Musa. He's talking about himself. Anazungumzia habari zake mwenyewe. So that's the preaching of the word. Sasa ndivyo neno linavyohubiriwa guys. We talk about Moses. Tunazungumza Musa. But we are not talking about Moses. Lakini hasa tuzungumzi Musa. We're talking about ourselves. Tunajizungumzia wenyewe. Even Moses himself that's how he did it. Hata Musa mwenyewe ndivyo alivyofanya. He was not there. Haku, we, we, he, he was not there when he spoke about uh, Adam. Alipo hakuwepo wakati alipozungumzia habari za Adam. He says in the beginning. Anasema hapo mwanzo. God created the heavens and Mungu akaumba mbingu na nchi. He was not born yet. Alikuwa hajazaliwa. And then he says let there be light. Ndipo Mungu akasema na iwe nuru. Adam comes. Adam akaja. Abraham comes. Abraham akaja. And then Joseph comes. Ndipo Yusufu. The children are in bondage. Watoto wakaingia waka e, kutumwani. 400 years in bondage. Miaka 400 wako utumwani. And then there's a man and a woman. Na kuna mwanaume na mwanamke. Called pa. Amram and Yoshobed. Anaitwa Amram na Yakobedi. He doesn't say my mother and my father. 
And he says, and they started praying for God to send them a deliverance. He doesn't say to send me. He says, and a child was given to them. And this child was a goodly child. And he is that child. And the child grew. And his name was called Moses. He doesn't say I'm that person. And then he continues the story. And Moses killed a man. An Egyptian saw him. Uh, no, no, no Egyptian saw him. It was the, those, those, the, there were children no, of Israel uh, that, were, that were being beaten by a taskmaster and he killed that Egyptian and this, he comes back to try and deliver these people and these people say are you going to do to us what you did to the Egyptians and the men ran away to the land of Midian he's talking about himself and he went there and he saw there was a fight at the well and that man could fight. And he fought all those headmen. And his price is he was given a wife. And her name was Zipporah. And after some time, at the backside of the desert, he meets the pillar of fire and he goes to deliver the people. And as he delivers the people, he was told to, to speak to the rock. But he hit the rock not once, but twice. And God says, Go up the mountain. And Moses, the servant of God, died. It's Moses That's a kama Musa. writing about the death Alikuwa ni Musa akizungumzia bali ya kifo of Moses cha Musa It's Jesus ni Yesu preaching about the death anahubiri habari za kifo of Jesus cha Yesu Brother Branham comes Branham anakuja anasema He says we are living in a time of Kennedy and Jacqueline Tunaishi katika siku za Kennedy na Jacqueline. And Kennedy and Jacqueline are a type of Ahab and Jezebel. Na Rais Kennedy na mkewe Jacqueline ni mfano wa Jezebel na Ahabu. And Jezebel and Ahab na Jezebel na Ahabu must know that Elijah is their prophet. Lazima watambue kwamba Elia ni mchungaji wao. He, he, he doesn't say I am I am Elijah. Hasemi mimi ndio Elia. Kennedy and Jacqueline must know. Kwamba Kennedy na Jacqueline lazima wajue. He says three seeds were planted. Anasema mbegu tatu zilipandwa. Billy Graham a Billy, denominational seed. Billy Graham mbegu za kidhebu. Or Roberts a Pentecostal seed. Or Roberts mbegu ya Kipentecost. And then he says the word. Alafu kisha anasema neno. Was also planted. Pia limepandwa. And he doesn't say, I planted the way. And then he says, seven messengers has been sent to the seven ages. Beginning with Paul, Kwanzia Paul, Irenaeus, Irenaeo, Columba, Colum Martin, Martin, Martin Columba, Wesley, Wesley, L uh, Luther Wesley, Luther Wesley, Pentecost, Pentecost. He says, and the seventh one Afua Saba must be on earth. Lazima wepo duniani tayari. these things. Akifunua mambo haya. And then he says, Afanasi. How many of you? Wangapi wenu? Where at the river? Walikuwa kwenye mto kule. When he appeared in the air. Wakati alipotokea kwenye nuru. And he said as John the Baptist. Akasema kama Yohana Mbatiza. For in the first coming. Alivyotangulia kuja kwa kwanza. So shall your ministry. Vivyo hivyo huduma yako. For in the second coming. Itatangulia kuja kwa pili. Of Christ. Kwa Kristo. And he says many hands. Akasema mikono. Have gone up in the building. Mikono mingi na wale meinuliwa kwenye jengo. Mungu awabariki. If the brother Branham could speak Swahili. Duke Branham kama angeongea Kiswahili. You say Mungu sana. Angesema Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu wa bariki. He didn't say I'm the one. Hakusema ni mimi. No 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 no. Ah ah ah. Ah ah. Hapana. He says Elijah. Alisema Elia. Was a man of the woods. Alikuwa mwana mtu wa mwituni. He loved to stay in the woods. Alipenda sana kuwinda mwituni. He says John the Baptist. Sema Yohana Baptizaji. Loved the woods 
also. Alikuwa ni mtu wa mwituni pia. And he says I wonder. Anasema na mimi nashangaa. Why I love the wood. Kwa nini napenda mituni? I wonder why I love the wood. Nashangaa kwa nini napenda kwenda kuimba. Elia had a bold head. Alikuwa na kipara. And the children loved at him. Na watu watoto wakamcheka. And he had a short temper. Na alikuwa na hasira kali. And he called two she bears. Akaita dubu wawili to destroy them. Wakawararua wale watoto. And he says one day, asema siku moja, I was at the barber. Nilikuwa na nyoa kwa chukio. And I'm sitting there. Na nikiwa nimekaa pale. The barber took carbolic acid. Yule yule kinyoza akachukua tindi kali. And he thought it was shampoo. Akafikiri ni shampoo. He made a mistake. Akakosea. And All my hair was gone. Anikapoteza nywele zangu zote. That's how I've got this bald head. Ndio maana na kipara cha namna hii. Are you catching it? Napata hili. Elisha had a bald head. Alikuwa na kipara. Elisha was short tempered. Elisha alikuwa na hasira. Elijah was the pastor of Ahab and Jezebel. Elia alikuwa ndio mchungaji wa Ahab na Jezebel. John the Baptist for the second coming of Christ. Yohana Mbatizaji alitangulia kuja kwa pili kwa kwa kwanza kwa Kristo. This man, huyo mtu. It's not the man trying to make himself match the scripture. Si mtu ambaye anajaribu yeye kujiwanisha na maandiko. So yeah. he's, not, he's not trying to make himself fit in the scripture. It's not like he's looking at the scripture and making himself. Sio kwamba anajaribu kuangalia maandiko alafu anajifanya yeye mwenyewe. Yeah, so he's not making himself, but it's God. Ah, sio kwamba anajifanya yeye mwenyewe lakini ni Mungu. Who is making the baba put carbolic acid? Mungu ndiye alivuvia kinyozi so that, aweke tindikali. So that the man can match kusudi huyu jamaa aweze kufanana na Elia. Elisha. He preaches a message. Alihubiri ujumbe. From that time, tangu wakati huo. And he says, "Soldier boy, asema wewe kijana daskari, don't kill yourself. Usijiue." There was no soldier boy. Hapa kuwepo na kijana mzee na kijana askari pale. In that service. Kwenye ile ibada. Not one hakuwepo askari kijana pale and then service is over na ibada ikaisha and uh, him and brother Ed Biscow is driving na yeye na ndugu mmoja walikuwa wanaendesha gari wanao and as they are driving na wakati wanaendesha they pass a place called Fort St John's wakapita sehemu inaitwa eh, St John yona, ina, Fort St John's au kiji Fort St John hivyo hivyo yeah so when they get there walipofika eneo hilo and they said Brother brother Bisco said we can go and get some soup. Wasema ah ndugu hebu twende tuka tukapate soup kidogo. There's some very nice soup there. Kuna sehemu wanauza soup nzuri. So they turn. Sasa wakageuza. They sit. Wakakaa. They are having uh, soup. Wakao wanakula soup. Pas. And there are people from the barracks. Kukatoka watu kutoka kwenye kambi ya jeshi. That have come also from the barracks wametoka kwenye kambi ya jeshi and they've come to the same place nao wakaja sehemu ile ile and they've decided to stop nao wakasimama pale they've got this man wana mtu huyu hapa who is very suicidal ambaye ni suicidal suicidal yeah suicidal he wants to kill himself anataka kujiua mwenyewe so brother branham is sitting there sasa ndugu branham akawa amekaa pale and then he lifts up his eyes akanyanyua akainua macho yake and he sees that man and he walks up to him akaona jamaa yule anatembea na mkaribia and he starts talking to him akaanza kuongea naye and then he pulls him out afa akamvuta akamtoa nje and then he says something to him akamwambia kitu fulani tells him the spirit that is in his life akamwambia roho iliyoko maisha yake how it wants to kill him and everything kisa ambavyo anataka kujiua na kadhalika scream akapiga kelele hallelujah sema hallelujah i am free niko huru i am free niko huru i am free niko huru and they come and sit on the table asa wakaja wakaka pale mezani and brother peter said brother brother ed bisco said what happened yule ndugu ed bisco akasema kumetokea nini he says you remember a soldier boy yesterday unakumbuka yule askari jana kwenye mkutano kwenye ibada this is me ni huyu hapo did not our hearts je mioyo yetu burn within us 
ndani yetu as he speak to us wakati anaongea na along sisi. the way njiani so the preaching of the word sasa kuhubiriwa kwa neno eh, brother brown says they walked about six six hours nabii anasema walitembea kama masaa sita which is like six church ages ambayo ni kama miaka sita za kanisa so during the church ages so you are having a heartburn experience katika nyakati za kanisa kulikwepo na kuchomwa kwa miwa but but there was a time lakini ilifika sasa wakati it, it changed from heartburn ikabadilika kutoka kwenye kuchomwa moyo towards evening time kufingia wakati wa jioni these men hawa watu Jesus did as if he wants to pass. Yesu alifanya kana kwamba anataka kupitiliza. That's the uh, Jesus is not Satan. Unajua Yesu eh, ilionyesha kana kwamba hana S- Satan is not a gentleman. Yaani Satan is not a gentleman. Satan, yeah. Shetani sio muungwana. He, he forces himself. Daima yeye analazimishia mambo. Jesus does as if he wants to. Yes, he huwa anafanya kama anapitiliza. That's Revelation chapter 3 verses 20. Hiyo ni ufunuo 3:20. I'm standing outside of the door. Nimekaa nimekaa nyuma nje ya ya mlango. This was got in the house. Hayuko ndani ya nyumba. And then he say God bless you. Anafanya basi Mungu awabariki. God bless you. Mungu awabariki. He didn't say did not your heart burn. No, no, no. Akusema je, mioyo yenu haiwaki kweli? Akas hapana. He just said God bless you. Aiwaambia Mungu awabariki, Mungu awabariki. And they said no. Wasema hapana. Come. Njo. Come inside. Hebu ingia ndani. Are you hearing me? Nasikia hiyo. And when he went inside, na alipoingia ndani, it became the ministry of silence. Ikawa ni huduma ya kimia. Jesus did not speak anymore. Yesu hakuongea tena. Are you hearing me? Na nalie He became the silent visitor. Alikuwa ni mgeni mkimia. And the Bible says, Nabii anasema, just like his napkin kama alivyofanya kile kile mbachana was left on the table. Kama alivyokiacha mezani. He sat at the head of the table. Alikaa pale kwenye ile meza. How can you have a visitor? Mnawezaje kuwa na mgeni? That sits at the head of the table. Ambaye anaketi kwenye head at the head of the table like is the, the one that is controlling ah, the table aka uh, unakuaje na mgeni ambaye anakaa kwenye meza kuu au uh, kiti meza kuu au kiti kikubwa kwenye meza hiyo so he's sitting with them sasa amekaa pamoja nao he's not saying a word anymore hasemi chochote i have preached to you nimewahubirieni it's enough inatosha we are going into the ministry of silence sasa tunaingia kwenye huduma ya kimia give me the bread Leteni mkate. And he took the bread. Akachukua mkate. And he blessed the bread. Akamega. And he broke the bread. Akauvunja. And he gave it to them. Akawapatia. In the breaking of bread. Katika kule umega mkate. The eyes were opened. Macho yao yakafunguka. Hallelujah. In the breaking of bread. Wakati wa kumega mkate. Hallelujah. Amen. We are back again. Tuna siku in the ministry behind closed doors. Tuna tuko kwenye huduma ya ya nyuma ya mlango Hallelujah. au mlango uliofunika ambapo Yesu is breaking the bread anamega mkate Jesus Christ Yesu Kristo is the same yesterday yeye ni yule yule jana today and forevermore na leo na hata milele and as he breaks the bread anapomega mkate eyes were open macho yanafunguliwa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. glory utukufu the burning of the hearts kuchomwa kwa mioyo did not open the eyes hakukufungua ah. macho hey you didn't hear me I, i said the burning of the hearts nimesema kuchomwa kwa mioyo did not open the eyes hakukufungua macho we are tired tumechoka of christians that come to church na wakristo wanaokuja kanisani and just say my heart was burning na wanasema moyo wangu my heart was wakawana. burning hey stop it sawa waachana na hayo sasa stop it hayo hatutaki stop it waachana na hayo open your eyes macho yako yavunguke open your eyes okay. it's time ni wakati for you to have a revelation wa wewe kupata ufunuo of who Jesus is wa Yesu ni nani hallelujah amen he didn't tell them that i am he hakuambia kwamba mimi ndiye no 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 hapana no. they caught it walilikamata tu hallelujah amen brother branham never told us that i am he ndu branham hakutuambia kwamba yeye ndiye tulikamata wewe hallelujah amen Hallelujah. Amen. The preaching of the seventh seal. Kuhubiriwa kwa muhuri wa saba. Is you seeing your name in there? Ni wewe unaona jina lako mle. Those men. Hao watu. 
Those men Wale watu. were apostles. Walikuwa ni mitume. It's time for us to close now. Ni muda wa kufunga sasa. My alarm has gone off. Hey, naona Those kengela. men were apostles. Walikuwa ni mitume wale. Are you hearing what I'm Na saying? Nasikia ninachosema. They were apostles. Walikuwa ni mitume. Hmm. Listen. Sikiliza. And they rose up the same hour. Na walifufuka uh, uh, when their eyes were opened, they, uh, they rose up the same Macho hour. And returned to Jerusalem. And found the eleven gathered together. And them that were with them. So these brothers, when their eyes were opened. When you have revelation. Your chair becomes a bit tough to continue sitting on. Kiti chako kinakuwa cha moto kukikalia hapa. <laughs> no, there are those people say me I will not stand. Unajua kuna watu wanasema mimi sisimani. Even if an angel comes and preach. Hacha malaika akija ubii hapa. Don't worry. Usijali. When revelation comes. Ufunuo ukija. You won't stay in your seat. Hutabaki kwenye Can you say amen? Unaweza kusema amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same hour. Saa ile ile. These people had walked 6 hours. Hawa jamaa alitembea masaa 6. They didn't feel tired. Hawakuchoka. Right there and then. I believe they wo- they walked more hours going than they walked coming back. Naamini wakati wa kwenda walichukua masaa mengi kuliko wakati wa Ufunuo unakufanya ukimbie speed. Ah <laughs> okay. Sa- if you don't say amen I'll prove it. Sasa kama useme amina Revelation makes you move at a faster speed. Ufunuo unakufanya ukimbie speed ya haraka. When Philip went to the eunuch Yule Philip alipomwendea ile towashi. He the scripture. Akafunua maandiko. When the eunuch was saying can I give you a lift to go back home? Eh, the eunuch. The eunuch said can I give you a lift to go back home? Hivi towashi akamwambia nikupe lift urudi nyumbani baraka. Says your akamwambia hii farasi wako anatembea speed yake sio kubwa hii. He said your chariot is slow. Asema farasi wako anachelewa. I've got sir. another mode of transport. Mimi na aina nyingine ya usafiri. I, I can get on the wind. Naweza nikaingia kwenye I can get on the wind. Naweza nikaingia kwenye upepo. And I can fly back home. Nikaruka kurudi nyumbani. The mba. next moment. Yaani muda ule ule. He was in a sort of Philip alikuwa akashapishia. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Nasikia anachosema. It was Elijah. Ilikuwa ni Elia. And when he, when when there was no rain. Wakati hakuna mvua. And he told Gehazi go and watch. Akamwambia Gehazi nenda kaangalie. And he said sound the rain bells. Asema nasikia kelele za mvua. It's now about to rain. Sasa mvua inataka kunyesha. And he told Ahab you better go with your chariots. Ahab wewe unaendesha farasi zako. Because the rain that is coming is too much. Kwa sababu mvua inakuja hapa ni balaa. And he said what about you? Na vipi wewe sasa Elia? He says my brother. That when revelation comes, the, the distance, umbali, the distance becomes shorter. Umbali unafu, una Can you mfuku. say amen? And Elijah na Elia, outran the chariots of Ahab. Akakimbia kapita farasi wa Ahab. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Sasa, sasa. It was Brother Branham. Ilikuwa ni ndugu Branham. He was sitting with brothers. Alikuwa mekana wa ndugu. And while they are sitting there, wakati wa mekana pale. And Brother Branham realized, oh my God. Branham akakumuka, ah mungu wangu. I'm supposed to preach in Mwanza. Natakiwa ni ubiri Mwanza. And I'm here in Dar es Salaam. Na niku wapada. Thousand kilometers away. Mark elf ya kilometer kutoka pale. He didn't tell the brothers. Akaambia ndugu. You just said brothers, come and ndugu. I'm going to the bathroom. Naenda kwenye naenda bafuni kuoka. I'll be back just now. Naenda bafuni nitarudi sasa. He took his hat, akachukua kofia yake. He put his hat, akaingia. He stepped out, akatoka nje. That was the last they saw brother Branham. Hiyo ndio mara ya mwisho kumwona ndugu Branham. The song leader here in Mwanza. Yule kiongozi wa sifa Mwanza. Anaimba oh, oh, amini. As brother Branham is about to come in. Ndugu Branham huwa anakaribia kuingia. Branham, oh, I'm in it too. The pastor is about to get in. Mchungaji anakaribia kuingia. Announce that brother Branham did not make it. Ah, uh, mchungaji alikuwa anakaribia kutangaza kwamba jamani mchunga uh, ndugu Branham hatafika leo. Yes, he is about to do that. Wakati anakaribia kusema hivi. Brother Branham steps into his office. Ndugu Branham akaingia ofisini. And he says, "Oh, brother Branham, you made it." Ndugu Branham umekuja. He took brother Branham. Akamchukua ndugu Branham. Brother Branham stood on the pulpit. Akamweka mimbarani. He preached. Akahubiri. Wait, wait. He preached. Akahubiri. 
after he preached, kuhubiri, he left. Akaondoka. The brothers that he left in the restaurant. Wale ndugu waliobaki kule kwenye mgahawa. One of them said, but it's been too long. Lakini mbona muda umeenda sasa? Brother Branham is still in the bathroom. Dubran bado yuko bafu. What's happening here? Nini kinaendelea hapa? The moment they want to check. Wakati wanataka kwenda kwa Brother Branham comes with a sweating shirt like mine. Waka ndugu Branham akaja na shati limetoa jasho kama la kwangu. Thank God I made it for Mwanza. Akasema, "Ah, Mungu ashukuliwe nimeshatoka Mwanza." Ah. Can you believe that? Je, unaweza kuamini hiyo? Can you believe that? Unaweza kuamini hiyo? If you believe it. Kama unaiamini. One of these days. Moja ya siku hizi. We are going to travel. Tunaenda kusafiri. From this place. Kutoka hapa. To another dimension. Kwenda kiwango kingine. To another dimension. Kwenda kiwango kingine. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. It did not end there. Haikuishia pale. Brother Peregrine. Ndugu Peregrine. Brother Peregrine, Peregrine wanted to go to another city. He missed his flight. Akakosa ndege yake. And he had checked in. Na alikuwa ameshakaguliwa pale. Missed his flight. Akachelewa. So he had already ndege. checked in. Asha kaguliwa. To, to board to go. Kuii apande ndege aondoke. Flight you have missed it. Ndege haipo. Is disappointed. Akawa amehuzunika. He needs to go to that place. Anatakiwa kwenda hiyo sehemu. So he's thinking of ways. Akawa na waza. How he can talk to the people there? Ataongeaje na watu kule? And and tell them how they can maybe give him the next flight so that he can go. Kwamba watambadishiaje ndege ili aweze kusafiri wakati. So as he's crossing those bars to come back. Wakati anavuka ile mistari pale kwenda kule. So he crosses the bars. Akavuka yale mavyuma pale and he lifts his eyes. Akaangalia juu. He realizes he is in the airport akajikuta yuko kwenye uwanja wa ndege of the city is going to wa ule mji ambako anaenda that's not the testimony wewe sio ushuhuda the testimony is he was faster than an aeroplane ushuhuda ni kwamba alikuwa na kasi kuliko ndege the flight had just left he had to wait kwa sababu for the flight to arrive ndege itakiwa so asubirie ndege ije apande ndio aweze kuondoka If you can't believe that I will not tell you about my testimony Kama uwezi kuamini hiyo sikupi ushuhuda wangu mwenyewe You trust me you trust me always Utanifukuza sema ah sio This one Hiyo hapana Let me tell you Hebu ngoja nikwambie I'm a believer of the message Mimi ni muamini wa God of William Branham Mungu wa William Branham Is still God Ni Mungu bado They went back Walirudi. and found the 11 gathered wakakuta 11 and some others na wengine are you hearing me nasikia they found people gathered already wakakuta watu wamekusanyika pale and when they found a gathering of people walipokuta mkusanyiko wa watu he says and they stood there wakasimama pale between them katikati yao saying the lord is risen wakasema bwana amefufuka kweli kweli and he appeared to simon na amemtokea simon and they told what things were done in the way na wakaanza kusimulia mambo yaliyotokea njiani just find brothers sitting there unakuta ndugu wameketi pale I believe the friend of Cleopas just stood on the pulpit. Naamini ndugu yake Cleopas alisimama mbarani. And started singing a song. Akaanza kuimba wimbo. She said he said as we invite brother Cleopas. Sema eh wakati mnamkaribisha ndugu Cleopas. Brother Cleopas started preaching. Ndugu Cleopas kaanza kuhubiri to the 11. Wale akahubiria 11 wale. To the apostles. Wakati anahubiria mitume wale. But you brothers you were not preaching before. Lakini sasa ndiye ndugu all of a sudden you come and you take the pulpit straight away. Huyu ndugu alikuwa sio muhubiri. That's what happens. Ghafla amekuja anapanda mbele na anatuambia. Eh? When you have the revelation. Unapokuwa na ufunuo and watch what they say. Angalia walichosema. The Lord is risen indeed. Bwana amefufuka kweli kweli. This is the first day. Siku ya kwanza. On the first day, siku ya kwanza. The Lord only appeared Bwana alitokea to these two that were going to Emmaus, kwa wawili wanaenda Emmaus and to Mary Magdalene na Maria Magdalena that's what we have as an account ndicho tunacho ndio kumbukumbu tulizonazo but when these brothers come lakini hao ndugu wanapokuja they said the lord is risen indeed wanasema bwana amefufuka kweli kweli and they said and he appeared to simon na amemtokea simoni so that means there is an appearing that is not recorded in the bible ina maana kwamba kuna kuonekana ambako hakujaandikwa kwenye biblia a private appearing that happened to simon kule kuonekana kwa 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 kibinafsi ambako kulitokea simon simon 
Simon didn't share with anybody. Simoni hakushiriki jambo hilo na mtu yote. He, 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 he remained there. Alibaki pale with that revelation. Na ufunuo huo. This brother said if we are lying. Hawa ndugu wakasema kama tunadanganya. Simon here. Pit, p, Simon, the Lord appeared to you. Simon wewe bwana alikutokea kama tunasema uongo sema. Bwana saa alikutokea. And Simon said Amina Amina Amina. Simoni akasema ni kweli Amina Amina. Amina Amina Amina. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Eish. Okay, just give, let us read at least one or two questions. I said these brothers were what apostles. Brother Bram says, and he stepped out from the roadside. In the message, Christ, the mystery of God revealed. Says and began to talk to them about Christ. He said, oh fools. And slow to understand. Don't you know all the prophets? Uh, don't you know that all the prophets and the Psalms? See what he was doing. Angalia alichokuwa anasema. Identifying himself to the apostles. Akijitambulisha kwa mitume. Which apostles? Mitume gani? The two apostles going to Emmaus. <laughs> Wale mitume wawili waliokuwa wanaenda Emmaus. Brother Branham is the one who called them apostles. Ndugu Branham ndo anawaita mitume. These brothers. Hawa. Because that's what the scripture says. He explained himself from Moses and all the prophets. Anasema kwamba alieleza yote kutoka kwa Musa. That all the prophets and all the sounds, everything was him expressed. Kwamba mitume wote kwamba manabi wote na Zaburi kila kitu kilikuwa kinamzungumzia yeye. But Bram says he is the thing. Lakini Bram anasema huyo ndio kitu chenyewe. Remember we said thing is the mystery. Nakumbuka nilisema kitu. He was the prophets. Yeye alikuwa ndio manabi. He was in them. Alikuwa ndani yao. He was in the sounds. Alikuwa ndani ya Zaburi. He was in the history. Alikuwa ndani ya He is the zote. things to come. Alikuwa yeye ndio jambo lijalo. Same yesterday day to day forever. Yeye yule jana leo na hata milele. He is the principal thing. Yeye ndio kiini kikuu. So Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Kristo ni siri ya Mungu iliyofunuliwa. Is the message that brother Branham I'm going to say so that you can understand all the things I spoke about the seventh seal. Ndio ujumbe ambao naweza kusema ndugu Branham kama mnaweza kuelewa alipozungumza kuhusu miuli saba. Notice Jehovah of the Old Testament. Anasema angalia Yehova wa Agano la Kale is is, is Jesus of the New Testament. Ndio Yesu Kristo wa Agano Jipya. See, Unaona? he is the same God. Ni ye, Mungu yule yule. Changing form. Akibadilisha tu. So, so, so the sermon the sermon was Jehovah of the Old Testament. Kwa ujumbe ilikuwa ni Yehova wa Agano la Kale. And Jesus is the Jesus of the New. Ndio Yesu wa Agano Jipya. That's what he was preaching going to Emmaus. Ndio alichokuwa anahubiri wakati anaenda Emmaus. So he was showing the Jehovah part. Alikuwa anawezesha sehemu ya Yehova the Jesus part. Na sehemu ya Yesu. The Jehovah part. Yehova ya the Jesus part. Ya sehemu ya Yehova na sehemu ya Yesu. Is that right? Ndio. Yeah. Give me the next one. So he says Jesus had a father. Anasema Yesu alikuwa na baba. Jesus had a mother. Yesu alikuwa na mama. Jesus had a beginning of days. Yesu alikuwa na mwanzo wa siku zake. Jesus had an ending of days. Alikuwa Yesu alikuwa na mwisho wa siku. We are talking about what I was talking about. Yeah, tunazungumza kile nilichokuwa nazungumza. But this man lakini huyo mtu had neither father nor mother. Hakuwa na baba wala mama. Eh? Amen. No father, no mother. Ana baba wala. Jesus had both father and mother. Ba, Yesu alikuwa na baba na mama. This man had neither. Lakini huyu hakuwa na baba na mama. So we are talking about Melchizedek. Hapa tunazungumza habari za Melchizedek. Melchizedek is Christ. Melchizedek ni Kristo. Christ is the Logos. Kristo ndiye hilo Logos. The Logos is the pillar of fire. Na Logos ndio nguzo ya moto. The pillar of fire is the word of God. Na nguzo ya moto ni neno la Mungu. The word of God is Christ. Na neno la Mungu ni Kristo. And Christ is here. Na Kristo yuko hapa. Without father, without mother. Hana baba wala mama. Let's give one for the road. One for the road. Yeah. Moja kwa ajili ya Bwana. But all this mystery 
Lakini siri yote hi, is revealed only as he promised to his bride. Imefunuliwa tu kama vile alivyowaahidi bibi harusi wake. Only to who? Kwa nani tu? Bride. Bibi harusi peke yake. Hell is against this truth. Kuzimu iko kinyume na kweli hii. You know hell is not against people falling on the floor here. Unajua kuzimu haiko kinyume na watu kudondoka chini hapa sakafuni. You know there's people who make it sound like hell is against uh, those manifestations people falling on the floor and screaming and Unajua watu wanafikiri kwamba kuzimu iko kinyume na watu wanaodondoshwa chini wanapiga makelele. Hell is not against that. Kuzimu haiko kinyume na hayo. Hell is against this truth. Kuzimu iko kinyume na kweli hii. If you fall on the floor without the truth you will just get up without the truth. Ukiwanguka chini bila ukiwa hauna kweli utanyanyuka kweli huna. If you jump without the truth you will come down. Kama utaruka juu kwenda without the truth. Bila kweli utashuka chini. Hell is against the truth. Kuzimu iko kinyume na kweli. And not any truth. This truth kweli hi which is a mystery ambayo ni siri which is revealed only to the bride ambayo amefunuliwa bibi harusi peke yake what is it that is revealed only to the bride kitu gani hicho ambacho kimefunuliwa bibi harusi peke yake the mystery of god ni kristo siri ya mungu and our christ na kristo wetu is not their christ sio kristo wao brother branham says do branham anasema if jesus kama Yesu comes here today akaja hapa leo in the body of Hoffman at 33 katika ule mwili wa Hoffman wa miaka 33 i tatu. will reject him mimi nitamkataa ah 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 ngoja 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 this body huu mwili this body mwili huu brother branham says ndu branham anasema if jesus comes here in this church yesu akija hapa kanisa hili if we see a man like this tukaona mtu kama huyu walking like this akitembea namna hii hey come out to say dikons tunasema mashemasi mtoeni haraka nje huko lock him in the office hata asiingie ofisini huko i will reject him nitamkataa But if Jesus comes lakini kama Yesu atakuja wearing a green tie amevaa tie ya kijani na shati nyeupe black skin <laughs> That's my Jesus huyo ndio Yesu wangu hey. oh, you say you say you are eagles yeah. you say you are eagles mlisema ninyi ni tie it, it's time to eat meat now sasa ni wakati wa kula nyama Jesus nasema Yesu Brother Branham says Du Branham anasema In the same message Kwenye ujumbe ule ule He says we are in the time of the mystery of his coming Anasema tuko katika wakati wa siri ya kuja kwake He says he is coming in the bride Anasema kuja kwake ndani ya bibi harusi This is the bride coming of Christ Who uku ni kuja kwa Kristo bibi harusi When brother Branham was preaching Wakati ndu Branham anahubiri He was preaching about himself Alikuwa anahubiri habari zake mwenyewe When mwenye. the bride is preaching Bibi harusi anapohubiri She's preaching about herself Anahubiri habari zake mwenyewe You you, we, you we, we, are in we, the picture Wewe ndio muhubiri wewe Can you say amen Unaweza kusema amina What What Malachi 4 came to do kila alichokuja kufanya malaki 4 is coming to tell me who i am nikuniambia mimi nilicho he came to tell you who you are amekuja kukuambia kila ulicho who are you wewe ni nani bride of jesus christ bibi harusi wa yesu kristo <laughs> amen there's been churches churches kumekuwa na there's been churches churches kumekuwa na makanisa makanisa it's a quotation ni nuku is is the rising of the sun kwenye kuchomoza There's kwa jua churches, churches. kumekuwa na makanisa makanisa brides 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 na mabibi harusi mabibi harusi and then he says brides brides na mabibi harusi mabibi harusi but there is coming one lakini anakuja mmoja she is flesh of his flesh yeye ni nyama ya nyama yake she is born of his born mfupa mfupa wake she yeye huyo is him ni yeye 
Yeye huyo bibi harusi ni yeye bwana mwenyewe. Yeye yeye. Ni ya mimi harusi. She is him. Hey. Mungu ampariki sana. Amen. You are him. Wewe ni yeye. Hallelujah. We are beyond the heartbreak. Tumeenda the word. Tumeenda zaidi ya kushomwa moyo. Sasa ni kumega mkate. We are seeing him. Tunaona and as we see him we see ourselves tunajiona wenyewe hey 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 ndio you are an overcomer wewe ni mshindi hey 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 you are healed wewe umeponywa are you hearing me umenisikia you 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 that was sick wewe ambaye ulikuwa naumwa under this atmosphere chini ya uwepo huu i declare you healed in the name of jesus nakutangaza kuponywa you that was suffering wewe ambaye ulikuwa unateseka you that was suffering uliyekuwa unateseka these meetings mikutano hii shall be the end of your suffering itakuwa mwisho wa kuteseka kwako oh la la oh la la the opening of the seventh seal kufunuliwa kwa mwili wa saba is the ending of time ndio mwisho wa wakati he says and time shall be no more anasema hapata kuwa na wakati time shall be no more hapata kuwa na wakati cancer shall be no more Kansa haito kuwepo tena. HIV shall be no more. Ukimu yaute kuwepo tena. Heart problem shall be no more. Matatizo ya moyo hayata kuwepo. Marriage problem shall be no more. Matatizo ya kisukari hayata kuwepo. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. Kampasa God bless you. Mungu awabariki sana. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. cha kuongeza. Naomba tu tuende kufunga ibada yetu. Amen. Nitaomba mchungaji Chite aje tu atufungie kwa maombi. Eh. Kesho tutaanza vile vile kama leo tu saa tatu. Bwana kubariki. Tuombe. Mupenzi Bwana wetu. Yesu Kristo. Ni kweli tuna furaha kubwa na majaliwa wakati wa mwisho. Sisi atumwabudu Mungu hewa. Hapana Mungu. Ubariki mtumishi wako. Ananena mambo ya kilindi yale ambayo yalimvutia yule samaki wa madoa. Ndio sisi hawa Bwana. Ndio maana tulikuwa tunafurahi. Asante Mungu. Asante kwa udumbe wa wakati wa mwisho na asante kwa Efeso ne. Ni kweli. Mungu wakati ulikuwa unamwandaa Nabii Branham kuliandaa wengine ambao angekuja kupitia huu huduma kufafanua vizuri haya mambo ili sisi tusikie Bwana. Hatuna la kusema ni kweli ndani ya neno hili kuna kila kitu unyakuo uponyadi na roho mtakatifu Mungu mimi na support maneno ya imani ya mtumishi wako kupitia huu mkutano bwana wengine walikuja wakiwa wanategemea kwamba uwekee mkono lakini sisi watu wa mataifa imani yetu nena bwana na mimi nitapona Nazani Mungu utatidukuza we mwenyewe katika mkutano huu. Naona umeanza ni wa kipekee. E bwana tunataka tuone. Bariki mtumishi wako, bariki kila mmoja wetu. Mungu mtoto wako alikuwa hapa alikuwa ananena amepungukiwa. Najua kama ataendelea tena na vidana. Mungu we ulikuwa naye kwa nini baada ya kwanza? Mungu na kuomba. Ufanye tena upya nguvu yake ufunulie tena mambo unajua vijana wana changamoto nyingi wakati wa kizazi hiki cha digital cha simu ya smartphone 
Mungu nakuomba umvuvie ili vijana wetu wapone. Baba wakati tunaondoka hapa we malaika wa Bwana sindikiza kile umoja wetu kwa wa wale wataondoka baki tena na wale watabaki hapa Mungu tunakuomba wewe ni nguzo wa moto Mungu hata ibada ya pili ikiisha baki mahali hapa Mungu tunakuomba tukida asubuhi tukutane tena wewe ni kwa ajili ya Bwana na mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo naomba amen